What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about my man, Fousey Tube. Um, a dose of Fousey, he's back. Listen, this guy is, uh, I think at one point he was one of the, the largest YouTubers in his time and then everybody else surpassed him <coughs> because everybody's coming out with different content and stuff. But Fousey Tube is the man. And uh, I watched this, I think up to six days ago was the last time he, Six days ago, he uploaded his very first video after going through all the stuff that he's went through. What is up, everybody? How are you guys doing today? Wow. Hoo, 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 hoo. I say that with like actual like relief and size coming out of my body because this video took me so long to do. And I'm talking about like the length that it actually took me to have the courage to pick up a camera, stand back up on my feet, stare into the camera and say, what's good everybody? Like that was hard for me. It I just want to congratulate him for, you know, taking a big step and um, doing what he did. I know he was going through a lot of stuff. Uh, I watched a lot of the videos when, you know, he was going through what he was going through, but was criticizing him. There were so many people making videos, and I know a lot of these people make videos because it's all based on content, and some people are about just making their money instead of just, uh, you know, I know he put himself out there, but the reality is, is he was struggling with, um, you know, the disorder that he has and how he just decided to take Adderall, as he keeps saying in his videos, because he's just... I applaud him for being able to go back on YouTube and sh and tell people, you know, what he's going through and explain to them. Like his last video was just yesterday, and he uploaded about the the pills he's taken and you know the the steps that he's taken to recover and to get himself back. I'm glad that he was able to find that money isn't everything, and that wasn't what was making him happy. Because the, let's let's face it, I mean, he was making a ton of money. This guy was making a lot of money, and he helped a lot of people. And my biggest thing is, I get where he's coming from 100%. Because let's face it, not everybody's your friend, and those who pose to be your friend aren't really your friends. And those who you think won't screw you over are generally the ones who are going to screw you over. Because um, let's face it, it's hard to find somebody who is very faithful as a friend to you and that's gonna have your back. I remember watching all the videos that, you know, from the good to the bad, to people saying that they hope he gets better, because I've been a subscriber to his uh, a Dose of Fousey for a little bit now, so I was surprised when a video popped up and said that, you know, he was back on and I wrote in his comments basically telling him, you know, I applaud him for being the person that he is and being able to actually just get back on YouTube and you know and have the strength to reach out to people and the fans who have supported him and he said that he had nothing but support in his first video when he released it six days ago which I think is awesome that people are actually out there who not only care about how his feelings is but how he's doing as a person because there's not too many people out there who actually care and the question that I ask is Where's all his friends, all his so-called friends that he had when he was giving out money to people, you know, like his friend who wanted to start a business, he gave out money. To all those people, where are they now? Or, or how are they being supportive of, you know, the issues that he has occurred in his life or the, the things that he has went through? I hope that this could be a stepping stone for him. And I hope he pursues his career because his career is acting. That's what he really wants to do as, as a career. Um, you know, he mentioned about him doing Uber at one point because he didn't know if he had the strength and the ability to go back onto YouTube and, you know, speak about or try and be who he normally is or what he, what the persona was of people saying that, you know, this was use of slash Fousey tube back in the day and now he has changed I believe that he's become a more humble person. I think he's better at um, dealing with his stuff. I'll be I'll be honest with you, I've been a fan of his for a while, but the truth is, I like that he in the initiative to make videos every day and he's getting himself more and more acclimated with being back on YouTube, which is a big step too, because I think the biggest thing is understanding who you are as a person and then making that leap forward to make people understand that this is who you really are um, and not rush back into YouTube. I think all the small content that he's creating now is actually really, really good for himself. Um, you know, and like I was 
he was saying in his last, his other video that he was outside talking to the camera and people were, uh, these girls were in the car and they were laughing at him and he said, you know, um, he kind of like brushed it off. But I understand where he's coming from because I'm not, I was, I was very, very shy with a camera, but now it's like, I feel like I watched so many people and I realized, you know what? It's a trend today. This is a trend. People are actually recording themselves out in public and the camera is a it's a growing trend of people actually just recording their daily lives or even speaking to the camera. So when I watch his videos, I feel like he's engaging, like he's engaging with us and you know, he's he's so he's just become a very very humble person and I just wish him nothing but the best. And I hope that, you know, he you know moves forward and his you know his dream towards being an actor he was very good when he played in boo with Medea. the people got killed are you crazy it's gonna be super creepy and scary that's why it's gonna be lit i'm so excited i think that was I think that was a great movie i think it was a really really good movie i think he had a um a chance of launching his career from there but and then i think that what happened was he took a downfall because he transitioned into this getting off his meds and then, you know, falling into the Adderall. And I, I personally don't know. I mean, I watched some of his videos, but I personally don't know what had triggered him to say, I'm going to stop taking my meds and to take Adderall. Whether if it was someone who said, you know, introduce him to it, or it was just something that he just decided that he was tired of taking his meds and he felt like that it was going to make him a... A normal person and when I say normal I mean by not having to be on any meds and you know he can function daily with taking Adderall I know Adderall is like a reversal drug for some people it can make people hyper and and have all these different uh, outlooks on life um, sometimes it just makes people move fast all day long where they're I know people who took Adderall for weight loss so I guess my, my video today is basically con to congratulate um, Yusuf, is his name, to congratulate him on getting back onto uh, a dose of Fusi because it's, I believe that all the content he has created in the last six days is great. It's every day is a stepping stone for him. He went and got a new car and his last video was how he lost $500,000. I think at this point in life, it's not about the money. I've been down that road. I've had three different businesses, and my first business was, you know, it was an epic fail. And everything is a stepping stone, and everything is a learning. You, I always say that your best teacher is your last mistake. So, Fusi, if you watch this, man, just understand that your last, your best teacher is your last mistake, and everything that you had done in your past on your last channel or your other channels, because I know you have multiple channels, has taught you to be who you are. And this is why you have become the humble person. And yes, the medication has some, some effect to it, to having you deal with things on a daily. But I think that even you transitioning back into your medicine, I believe that you yourself as a person has realized everything that you've done wrong, whether it's um, getting off your medication and going into the next medication, I think that he has he has decided that he's learned from those mistakes. So, you know, I think that he's going to do great. I think that he's going to have great things to come as long as he stays positive and he creates himself a environment of nothing but positive people. I think he's going to progress and he's going to be a good actor because he played in those, the two movies that he played in with Medea and I. I think he's great at acting. I think he's good, but he's always been good because his, you know, hence the reason why his YouTube channels has exploded when he started. So, yeah, I think he's going to do good, and I think he should just keep up his work. So, so without further ado, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.